So we've asked you a lot of questions over the course of the last year or so. You know, a lot of those music kind of questions that you kind of anticipate. So we thought that we would maybe mix it up a little bit, okay? Let's do it. You were raised in Waco and in Temple, Texas, right? Uh Uh-huh. Do you still have family there? I do. Do you ever watch HGTV? I totally do. Do you know who Chip and Joanna... Yes! (laughs) And (laughs) I have heard about this, and the Elite Cafe was an awesome place, and I heard that it got shut down, and they freaking bought the place, didn't they? They did. Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys oh. and all those old musicians used to hang out at the Elite Cafe. Oh. They even had an Elvis mm-hmm. room. Mm-hmm. I believe Elvis used to hang out there because he was stationed at Fort Hood and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened at that cafe. I'm thinking that they're going to they're gonna spruce it up and they're going to bring it back to life. I think it'd be awesome. I, I already, I'm just throwing it out there. I want to like play the opening night. Oh I, I don't know if they're going to have music there, but heck, we can set a stage up in the parking lot around the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thought. Since you still have a family in the uh, Waco area, which is where Chip and Joanna Gaines just open up the silos. And I know you've been renovating your house with your wife. So you go visit your family in Waco. You happen to just stop by the silos. You just happen to bump into Chip Gaines. Just bump right up into him and be like, oh, hey, buddy, but it's me. It's Eric Pasley. Oh, I yeah. heard that you bought this cafe. There you go. Yeah, I watch you all the time. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> at, least well, yeah. case, at least in your case, he probably would know who he you are. He probably does know who <laughs> you <laughs> are. I, I watch you all the time. <laughs> that doesn't sound it creepy at all. Creepy. <laughs> I am your friend. <laughs> I mean, oh, my goodness. How to win friends right there. That's. Not treat them out. I read that Rich Mullins was one of your biggest influences when you were growing up. Yeah. I remember when uh, Rich Mullins died, and it was the first time in my life that I... I'd ever found myself really questioning why God would take somebody who was spreading his message and would take them in such a horrible way. I think there's some things that you can't ever answer. And, and if you know what we're living for, it's not just for here. So it's, I'm glad that you're a fan of Rich because I am too. What I love about his music and uh, just what I love about great writers is God gave us a, a brain and, and creativity and you don't have to repeat the same 10 lines over and over. And uh, I think that's what I miss about his music is he was a real guy unafraid of talking about being a dude that actually could stand up and be a guy and then also talk about being a guy that loved God but was also a guy. And I like, you don't have to be weak and trembly every time you sing when you're singing about God. And that was the cool thing about him. You were raised in uh, Waco and Temple, Texas, as we've established. Um, and you were 10 during the Waco uh-huh. siege. Do you remember what that was oh, like? Oh, it was wild. I actually, we had moved to Temple then. And I remember I was at my buddy's house and his mom was like, you yeah, aren't watching this, you know. Because you didn't know it was going to happen next. Right. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. Speaking of being a kid, what was life like growing up for you in Texas? Now, I know your your grandfather and his brothers were in a band. He died when you were just a toddler. Do yeah. you think his love of music was genetically passed on to you? Absolutely. Yeah, totally. I, I think the stories of his love of music was passed on to me, and that doesn't hurt. You know, mm-hmm. it was never like pushed on me as you should be a singer, kid, you know, because your grandpa was... Like, don't be a doctor, be a singer, you know? <laughs> um, so I, I think that doesn't hurt. Any any push forward out on the stage can, can help you. He you definitely know? would be proud of you today. There's no doubt. Well, well thank you. Glad I get to make music and uh, make a little soundtrack to people's lives and, and try to do good with it. And maybe someday we'll jam up on the countryside of heaven together. Eric Pasley is one of the nicest, most down-to-earth guys you could ever talk to. And uh, hopefully you're getting a glimpse into uh, a little bit more personal side of Eric because he's been spending this hour with us today. Hey, uh, happy anniversary, by the way. I know you're just a little over a year ago. Yeah, Yeah. what's your favorite thing about being married? Um, She's really pretty, and she lets me go play music. (laughs) Oh, there you go. (laughs) Real nice. Oh, man. And there's another woman in your life, too, and that's your mom. Yeah. You actually like to spend time in in the kitchen with your mom making kolache. You know, the fish always gets bigger when you start talking to the media. But yes, we do make those together. Not all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Every Sunday after 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 church. church. (laughs) We got the pot roast in the oven and you're making kolache with mama. (laughs) How does your mom feel about what you've accomplished in your life? I think she's proud of me. I would think so, 
I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> that would be an indi- good indication that she's proud of you. Your song, The Driver, that you do with Charles Kelly and Dirk Bentley, I absolutely love that song. I'm nominated for a Grammy for that. Yeah, one. I know. Cool. We love the song. And you song. helped write it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm telling Dirk and, and Charles from Lady and Bell, I was like, I need to stop riding my coattail. <laughs> <laughs> when is your new album coming out? Not for sure exactly. It'll be sometime this year. So that, that could be uh, many more months come. So we'll see. <laughs> But all those business people are sitting in offices with yeah. trying to figure it out. Uh, any chance that we're going to hear any of your new music when you come to our Toyota Country Lights Festival? Absolutely. We'll be playing new music, that's for sure. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Songs you know and songs you don't. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you on July 